Aww. Aww. Hey guys, name is Finn. Playing the Flying Age here. You missed a little ding -dum, but I swear I didn't move an inch. So, look. Okay, this means war. Or, uh, this means war, Doc. Whatever. I am a new schooler. Find out how to build another functional flying machine. And I'm still fly high. That is cool. It crashes and it's like, <laughs> oops. And in fact, you know, now we gotta build another flying machine. And the cool thing is, if you want, you can skip that one and just go straight to building this other one. I'm pretty sure that I tried doing that anyways. Maybe I'm wrong and <laughs> hey, but uh, that'll be funny. Nevertheless, <coughs> uh, that is some kind of like heli balloon thing or whatever now let me try to find the control for that like let's see there's like a whole bunch of levers over here oh what's this now drop so they're actually labeled are they okay well open the big door that's right well observe i'm going to perform a magical trick you see this solid door all right i'm going to teleport through this door Wow. There's no switch here either. Oh boy, you know this really takes that out of me, but here we go again. Ugh, tiring. This is a very stupid joke, and I'm not going to make it anymore. Yes, here's the lever over here. Yes, that sound, I, I ripped that sound from the game and used it in one of my unfinished levels for Z-Doom. And so now every time I hear it, I, I think of that. That's a pretty cool piece of trivia. And what's this? Oh, I see. No, 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 no. At least you don't have to wait for it to go all the way. Uh, that's pretty cool. Where? Oh, okay. So I guess I just move that over there. And hit the drop lever. It flies using the power of having a big old drapehead polygon over it. Or oh, it just, it literally just drops it. Okay, so I guess blow up the balloon or like put it up or something. Man, I love this level. It's so fun and different and creative. And that kind of looks like a baby carriage with a t tail and a balloon on top. You know, babies like balloons, right? I was like, that was right. You know, I say I quote Monty Python a lot, but I also quote video games, like I quoted Portal 2 the other, or no, not Portal 2, Half-Life 2, and sometimes I quote things and also sometimes objects. So this is something I had trouble with before because there's a lot of parts. I guess that goes there. And like, you have to kind of get up. All right, all right. We are Carpenter. You can call us Garrett the F Famous carpenter. Oh, what? There's only three air screws? Oh, I thought there was a whole bunch of fiddly bits, but oh well, maybe not. Let's see here. I'm supposing here that. Oh, I know where they go. Uh. You have to take the ladder over instead of taking the machine, and it sort of clips through the polygons. That's pretty great. Uh, so, yes, they, they just go here, don't they? There's one. There's one. There's one. There we go. And, uh... I guess you just have to reach around to... Yeah, there we go. That's that done, and now... What is it now? Let's see. And I'm gonna get this right the first time, and it's gonna be... Thing-shaped. Why would it be thing-shaped? I have no idea. No, no, no. That just, like, you know, spews out some kind of gas and, like, chokes everybody in a very environmentally unsafe way. Oh, yeah, there we go. So that, like, puts it in the balloon, just, like, clips right into it. That is how you do it. So I guess... That's right. This is what I had trouble with. It looks like you're supposed to just do that, but you're not. You're supposed to do something else I don't even remember. It's... And I, I spend like all day at this, so for your entertainment, let me just proceed to spend all day again instead of just like cutting. What's this? Some kind of 
trolley. Okay, but what's what's this do then? Okay, that's how you get into it. It's like a little digitized screen. This is the advanced tech. This is the real like web 2.0 version. So I'm guessing you have to like. Oh, bloody hell! What is it? This is so obscure. Wait, it worked. What on earth did I do? What did I just do? Did you guys see something I missed? Who knows? It works. Let's just get going. No wonder I was like fiddling all around last time. Okay, what? <laughs> Maybe it popped out like that after I put this platform here for some inscrutable reason. I have no idea. Anyway, let's fly. Except I can't still. Um... Now what? What have I got? I've got... I've got literally nothing else. Am I supposed to have picked up another part somewhere? Like, really? Or am I supposed to... No? Well, there's the motor, and there's the little propellers. The balloon's all filled up. <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks like something's supposed to go here. I don't know what it is, and I must have missed it, but I guess I'll just hunt around and not cut the video whatsoever, because why would I ever do that? Maybe I, maybe it's on this plane, I don't know. Maybe it's hidden around behind the wall somewhere, that's, that's always a possibility. I don't even know exactly what it is, it could be like a start lever or some kind of microcontroller. Oh, I, I'm probably supposed to pick it off this plane. Yeah, that is almost certainly what I'm meant to do here. Oh, I'm probably supposed to just get that lever back. But it's already got, like, a lever on the thing. For some reason, I feel weird saying lever because... Still use the lever. Because I've heard lever so many times. Wrong lever! See? You see? There I referenced something that wasn't Monty Python. It is, in fact, The Emperor's New Groove. And if you haven't seen it because you think, oh, it's like a Disney kiddies movie, shut up and see it. It's, like, way better than Disney movies are. Seriously, there's no musicals, and it's like humor that almost borders on like Homestar Runner a couple of times. It's pretty awesome. So I guess I'll put this here. There we go. And then it poofs into existence. Okay. Okay, now we just fly, just fly hard. That's our ignition switch. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Okay, so I guess I'm going to switch directions with that lever there. Although I think I'm not too sure if it matters. I think the important thing is that I just start getting up here. So there's my parachute. It just disappeared. If we don't stop this behavior, the entire polygons of the world are going to start messing up. But possibly he probably thought of that. So let's look down. Anyway, this is like a really at, like moody kind of it's got that out in the middle of nowhere sunny so it's happy but lonely so it's sad kind of mix of emotion that I just love. There we are. Alright, so I've done all that. I guess there was no loot or secrets or anything. And, well, hmm. Well, I was going to say I'll end the video here because it's an it's an alright time and that encapsulates the whole level, but uh, I did do a bit of the a bit of this level last video, so maybe I'll just continue and just do a little bit of this next level here. Approach the Enterprise with the copter and climb on board. Sneak inside the Enterprise, which will soon meet up with Zeta-1 and hide in a crate destined for zeta One storage room. Your presence must not be noticed, so don't attack or alert anyone. Ah yes, an enforced ghost. But it's, it's alright. Uh, and in fact, I think that might be optional or something. If you get into trouble, remember that someone has to guide the Enterprise to rendezvous with Zeta-1, so don't kill the captain. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, there's a little... See, that is not... That does not at all look like the place I launched from. It's totally different. There's like three buildings, and none of them looks like a, a thing, and then there's trees. It's kind of like a silly sort of thing, but... I, I just want to take a closer look to the- uh-oh. 
Nice. Anyway. Oh, you know what I haven't tried? Is to go to that first level where you're in a plane, like when you first go to the Zeta 1, and strategically time it so that I hit this lever to stop it, uh, stop the engines, and time it so that it gets so that I can jump onto the ship just when it falls, and, uh, see how the scripting reacts to that. Anyway, this is a pretty neat looking ship with, like, propeller, like, water wheel type things on the side. That is really beautiful, actually. It almost looks like something from, like, 3D Mark 06 or something like that. You know what I'm talking about, or you don't at all, but that's okay. So, it's kind of like a, a slow sort of place, but let me just see here. Right, optional, don't alert or fight anybody. That's what I was remembering, tickling at the back of my mind. It didn't say optional on the first screen, but it says optional here. And now I need to, I need to learn how to project my voice because this is very loud. You know what? I might have messed this up. No, no. I thought I was supposed to go into the middle, but maybe not. Uh... <laughs> Come on, I want to at least give an honest shot at this. I want to at least give it my best here. Look at this Clackmeister John. What are those little green things? They're awesome. They're like green things. <laughs> Come on now. There's like a little wind up thing on the back. Okay. What? Who, who saw me? Like what? Am I supposed to? I don't really get it. Okay, I don't... I don't know why, like... I'm really disappointed I can't fulfill that objective, but I'll do my best to fulfill it unofficially. I've seen an intruder. Look because, sharp. seriously, I just got onto the ship, like, what'd you expect me to do? And I was quiet about it too and everything, and I mean, it took me the exact amount of time to get there, and that's slowly floating away, and it's gonna run out of gas at some point. But, let's conform to the spirit of the thing. This guy is going over that way. Uh, hello? Anyone Hello. Noisemaker. Great. Moss. Fantastical. Um, yes. uh, I keep thinking. Yes, I, I keep thinking. Hmm. Is this. wonder what that noise was. Is this affliction I have? There. I can't help but think. It's incredible. 